So my kids are right now playing outside. So cute. I love it. So I got an email from Tony Smith. Let me quickly read you the email so um, that I tried as best as possible to answer it. So he's writing, um, I just graduated with my master's in motion pictures and television. I love filmmaking. I live in Atlanta. I need to find consistent work here in editing while I work on writing my own scripts. I'd even produce commercials, yet I need to get my foot in the door somewhere. Do you know of anyone here that will hire me? I have a portfolio of work that I've done. I don't want to work a full-time corporate job because then my days will have limitations in reference to filming. Right now, I'm tempting... Oh, temping yet. I need a solid alternative for creative work where I can at least make $700 to $1,000 a week. I need a job that is stable yet allows me the freedom to produce my films, music, videos, oh, music, film, videos during the week. And the assistance is valued. Okay, let's try to break it down. So let's break it down. I think your first answer, uh, question is actually, you know, I don't want to work in a full-time corporate job. And I agree with you on that because once you are in something outside of what you want to do, and that is filmmaking, then let's say you work for an office and you get paid regularly. That will kind of tie you down and 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 how should i say that you will get used to to the comfortable life that you get a regular paycheck and the more you are abs absorbed in that type of security the less you are willing to go out risk something and pursue basically your dreams if i would be in your shoes and would be just coming out of school i would really try to build something immediately that is within the uh, vicinity of filmmaking and that what you want to do i think you have two choices you either start as an assistant you know for other filmmakers and learn, you know, to, to perfect a certain aspect in your line of work, whether it's like um, PAing or, or filming um, or, you know, editing as an assistant editor. So I would really try to, even if this is not exactly, let's say you have to work as a production assistant or as a camera assistant, even though it's not exactly what you want to do, let's say you want to become an editor, at least you need to start surrounding yourself in that, you know, with those type of people and, and, and start making connections in, in that. That field. If you go out into a different job in the corporate world, then that is your type of people that you will surround yourself with. And those are the ones who, um, you know, kind of define your circle and your future. Because, you know, I heard many, many people say that your destiny is based on your five closest people you surround yourself with. So then you wrote also, I need a job that is stable yet allows me the freedom to produce my films and music music uh, during uh, music videos during during the week so i i think that's almost oxymoronic because after you did your job you will be very tired and there's very you know cognitively we have only a limited amount of resources that we can use our brain especially for decision making and creativity so for example if you sit in an office from nine till five right yeah and you make a thousand dollars a week as you um, you know wrote that you want uh, to make that type of money then the rest of the day it will be very hard to sit down and then really work on your art so i would always try to find a way where you can combine the um, the money-making part that is obviously important uh, in order to live and survive, always to connect it with something that's at least close enough to what you want to do. So yeah, I have an example. Um, the way how I started my career was I went actually to a Jewish religious school for people after college to learn about Judaism. 
So you'll learn Talmud Torah all day long. And then I had my, you know, I was in Israel. I was living in Israel. I went to the school and I had my laptop and my camera with me. And then the administration was just asking me, hey, do you may want to make like a promotional film for our, you know, sister organization? And that's how I got basically started. So that that's another um, way of using your environment that's around you and figure out how can you utilize that environment in order to make um, a film for them. So I think that is a, a good idea to get started. So if you work already in a corporate job, what I couldn't read from your email, and if you do already, or if it was just like a plan of yours, um, that is a good idea. Once you're already in, don't, don't just quit it, but figure out how you can bring in your talents as a filmmaker and see how you can get started and then start experimenting. I, I call it always like paid film school because I don't want to make films that have no result, whether the result is into you know something that I can use for my portfolio. And ideally, I would always like to make some sort of money that I can do and 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 you know use and support myself and then later on you know my family. So that would be my quick take on your email. So email me more if um you need more clarity or if something is like I didn't explain it uh, right. So I see you in my next episode. Till then, right? Bye-bye.